Dude, it's bad. I tried dash block. Get fucked up. This game does not have the best net code. Hey, don't blame the net code on your shitty abilities to dash block. All the good players can do it. That's all I'm saying. Don't try to be one of those net code haters because you don't know how to block, bro. I'll teach you how to block. I'll teach you, bro, so you don't have to be mad. He said, also, this game does not have a list. I mean, Tech is one of those games where if you don't have good netcode, people just would not play it. Like Tekken fucking 6. Just didn't, yeah, that game had bad netcode. Alright. Not very good at melee, but I'm open to being tough. I like the sound of that. Better to not just blame it on the net. Get ready for the next People don't dash block good enough, I think, because they're waiting to see something before they, you know, before they block. When you dash in, they're waiting to see something before they block, but you're supposed to just immediately commit to the block, assuming that your opponent's going to be doing something. You know, you have to be ready for stuff. It's better to be ready for stuff than to like have to deal with it when it gets there. So when you're dash, when you're going for a dash block, you have to be quick on the trigger. And then there are also times where you wouldn't do a dash block. Like I wouldn't do it from here. Like what's the point of dash blocking when anything I do hits you? you know what I mean? It's better like from ranges like this, where when you're dash blocking, there's still a little bit of space, aka a little bit of time for the opponent's attack to reach you. Do you use forward, down, full, or forward, back, forward? Dash blocking, that's not how you dash block. You dash block by doing forward, forward, back. Forward, forward, back, and you hold it for dear life, for, you know, for dear life. Hang on, and you sit on your punish, sit on your punish, dash block, and you sit on your punish. And if they don't do anything, you have your low ready. You know what I mean? I have my low ready to go. Nothing, bitch, low. So, it's not only about just being able to perform dash blocking, but in order to make the most of it, you have to be able to jump into all your options at once. And it's not like there are a million options, there are just but two or three. Dash block, nothing, have your punish ready. Dash block, nothing. Go into your low. Dash block, jab. You, know, you just gotta be quick. You can't wait for them. And then the fact that you dash block, I'm dash blocking a lot in the space makes him kind of hesitant to do anything when I dash, right? Don't listen to this part, go. <laughs> it's making him hesitant when I dash block because he knows I'm just gonna dash block and punish whatever he's doing, right? So that allows me to just commit to a dash mix-up. Boom. You know what I'm saying? When I dash, he stops, so when he stops, I go. And that is dash block. Ah! Yo! Yeah! Almost had the trail shit! Ooh! Unsafe to block low frequently? Absolutely. It's unsafe to block low frequently for sure. Um, blocking low is kind of like. Never mind. Depends on the matchup. No. Not even you don't you don't ever want to start if you don't know anything about your opponent. You don't want to start off just guessing when he's going to go low, like right off the bat. You don't want to just start, you don't want to just start like ducking, raw ducking. Don't ever do that. Like you should always start off your matches like 
for the most part, you know, unless you're an experienced player who knows when to make those calls, which you probably are not right now. Um, you never want to just be doing stuff like ducking because any number of the attacks that he's going to do are going to be mid. A lot of them are knocking downs, a lot of them are combos. And you don't want to just give him the, the, you know, the ability to mix you up like that. You're, get, you're forcing yourself to guess. That's what people say sometimes, like, he's mixing himself up, you're mixing yourself up, and you just duck for no reason. Um, the way you block lows in this game is you literally just don't block low at all until they go low. And then you pay attention to, you know, everything about that low. Kind of like, what did he do before? Did he hit me with something? Or did he run in into the low? Or how does he like to use a low? Does he like to use a low when he's low on health in the beginning of the rounds? Does he like to use low into low? Does he like to use jab into low? So you pay attention to everything about the low. And then that way, when the situation comes up, your spidey sense will go off. And you're like, oh shit, this feels a little bit familiar. Um, this kind of is a situation where he would go low. And then, even then, if I were you, I still wouldn't block low. I would just keep that in my head, you know, for, 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 just to see what happens. Like, if he did go low, then of course you were right, and you got a read on his lows. But, every time you go down and you block low, it's, it's a huge risk. You're taking a huge risk. Like, uh, I should have asked you guys to count how many times. Next time, count how many times I'm actually blocking low next game. You guys should try to count how many times people try to block low, like good players try to block low. It's very, very rare. If anything, um, the real good stuff, which is your more like intermediate and advanced strategies, is uh, you kind of do fuzzy guards. <laughs> Sicko's not supposed to be listening because I'm teaching and I'm telling them about your game, buddy. But yeah, the thing is, when you get hit with lows, I mean, how much life are you losing? Not even 10%. You're losing maybe 20, maybe, not 20, sorry, maybe 5%, maybe 6% of your health. You, right? guys is only gonna go low now. So it's time for the next opponent. Takes the fun out of teaching. What about hell sweeps? How would you block the 50-50? Um, for like the Kazuya hell sweep, it's kind of like a lot more about the telegraph. So the hell sweep requires you to be in a certain range. It requires you to fucking have them knocked down so that you can't attack them out of the hell sweep. You know, you also gotta, you also risk getting hop kicked when you go for hell sweep. Ta! Why is this dude really going low a lot now? Oh, it's because he's listening to the stream. You know, I say I don't like people doing that because sometimes I'm trying to teach. It kind of ruins the purpose of the lesson. Why are you even listening to me playing Tekken against you? Five seconds, you know, delayed or something. Why are you even doing that in the first place? You must like not being able to concentrate. You must either not like being able to concentrate or you love the sound of my voice. Maybe a combination of both. It's hard to believe. It's so weird. Like <laughs> living in the past, that's why you can never read the future. The reads are off. Please don't kill me. Start talking shit to distract me. Usually, sometimes I do that. Sometimes I do that. Do 
did not have the smooth voice. You need to chill. I feel like everybody, when they hear their own voice, it just kind of triggers them. No promo? <laughs> it's not why I play ranked. Nobody do big boy lobby. We got the squad assembling here. We got the squad. Get your ass in here, Truggy. Stop playing that bullshit. Stop playing that BS, brother. Getting my notebook for these reads on lows. Yeah, watch these guys. NYC Fab and Shadow. These are top of the line players. I mean, if you see them going down there for the lows, they're right back up. You know what I mean? You you never also if you're gonna block low, that's another important thing to mention. You never wanna just like stay crouched for more than just that split second you predict that low coming. So I mentioned in that you're supposed to kind of predict the lows before you start guessing on the lows. And then on, the second part is when you block low. You're not supposed to stay down there until the low comes. You, you're blocking low because you think the low is coming at that time. And if the time comes and passes, then you need to get right back up. So that you can prevent getting hit by mids and stuff. What's Trungy wasting time playing? You guys can't see it. It says it right there. What the hell? I don't see a shadow on my princess. Word? Okay, this is this stuff. Yeah, I'll try to put on the, the YouTubes. Thank you for checking me on the dash block stuff. Now I think of it, now I think of it, I took Blame and Netcode as a cop out. It's all good, man. I actually respect the fact that you kind of was willing to change your opinion, you know? We can work with that. People who come in here with the strong opinions and are just not willing to budge, but you seem like you just want to get better at tech end, and that's the most important thing. Always willing to help. Um, but yeah. Dash blocking is hard. I mean, stuff's hard if you don't have people to teach you. 